Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing very well today, as always. I have been working on completing more of these Scar Challenges. All but two of the ones we have unlocked are sitting at that gold status. The other two are going to take a little bit more time. Mainly because the uh, Atlantis Spire, man, that time trial is hard. I was talking a lot of crap earlier thinking I could do everything with no empathies, but apparently I don't know how to play a pirate. Uh, we have a few more upgrades we can get here with our Dragon Soul currency now that we're getting into the end game. And if we buy three more things, it unlocks something else that we can spend with the Dragon Soul currency. So one, two, three, let's see what it is. Cosmic Overload increases the soul shop limits to ludicrous degrees. Thank you for all the souls. Now we're strong enough to let you grow however you want. Don't come crying to me if things break. Some skills are still hard capped, but we can exceed previous limits. What does that mean? Oh, that means we can now dump even more money into strength and dexterity if we want to. Or we could get significantly tankier. Or we can make it so... It, it, this is actually pretty good. It means we can continue to scale our account if we can find the currency for it. Um, I feel like getting more rune bonuses is always good. This now maxes out at nine. We're only five out of nine right now. So still huge improvements to be had even this late in the game. I think that's super encouraging. Uh, we do have two more scars to unlock. However, I don't think I can get them on this difficulty. Uh, I know where this is. And unfortunately, we already killed another boss. And I, I think... This one has to be done on New Game Plus 8, if I was comprehending comprehending the, um, the YouTube comments correctly. So thank you for joining me. Today we're going to try to marathon out a few bosses. Remember, we can't end this series until we full clear the castle. That's not an option for us right now, but we can start getting a little practice. To do that, we're bringing Sir Pepperoni into the castle today. He, of course, suffers from vampirism, meaning we're going to take increased damage, but we're also going to dish out some increased damage as well. So I have the halfway teleporter for the... I know I say it wrong now. There was a documentary about uh, the making of Rogue Legacy 2 that's been doing the rounds, and... All I've taken from it is that I've been saying the Kerglouian Plateau wrong this entire time. But Axis Mundi is the halfway point. All we have to do is push through this. There should be some bosses along the way that we could take down relatively easily. That being said, we were greeted with quite a lot of damage there. Just a single nudge into that enemy. What? Come here. Come on down. Come, there you go. Just a single nudge into that enemy was over a thousand health that we're now missing. That's not super fun. Some bats above us. Let's make sure we're dodging those bones. What is fun is the 2,400 damage we can deal simply by standing still and swinging our weapon. It's hard to be upset with that kind of punishment. Now, this is a little awkward. That's a difficult enemy, especially when he's sitting out of my reach. I'm going to leave that chest behind. We do have an area here that is fighting back. The red eyeball does need to be turned off. Ranger jumping up for a better shot until we cut him back down into pieces. So while we are taking increased damage, as we deal damage back to enemies, we're going to be siphoning more life away than we've ever been able to before. For instance, that enemy there giving us 800 health back, but then the elite deals 2,000 with a single single blow. Uh, I wish my spell was a little better. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, we still got a decent hit there. Unfortunately, I, I broke all of the stuff I could stand on here, which makes this way more difficult, actually. <laughs> One more volley and we should perfect be able to take down the elite at the top of the screen. Well, money is nice. Money is not going to solve all of our problems any more so i'm not well when we do the full clear when we actually do commit and we and we clear the castle you guys know i want to loot everything i want to have it all otherwise it's not a full clear 
but leaving a couple chests behind on this run isn't the biggest deal in the world to me. I've always regretted picking this up, but that's not going to stop me from trying it again. There's only one way to get better, and that's through massive, massive, massive amounts of failure <laughs> publicly <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cleave right through these guys. This is the alternative... A uh, weapon for the wizard, for the mage. It allows us to really dish out a ton of critical hit damage, which of course has been our specialty throughout our entire account's existence. We've been pumping so much gold into the upper left part of the tower that I think it might tip over soon. A good cleave through there. Bunny protecting the bottom. Let's see if there's a room that's worth anything here. Oh, so I, I could just not be a barbarian anymore, huh? Uh, that's pretty niche. I don't think we would get much use out of that, especially because when we swing with our auto attacks now, we're not um, going to stay in one spot for a long time. I could see us get, whoa, I could see us getting some bonus poison damage if we could be stationary on our platform. I could see that being good. But unfortunately, we just do not have the option. Now, I thought I would literally one-shot every enemy here, but that skeleton took 600 damage and then looked at me weird. He's like, is that all you got, bro? Is that all you bringing in here today? Oh, good critical hit as we just scrape the top of this platform. A few mages chasing after us with the help of the environmental effect might be able to deal some damage, but no. That 2,000 oh, crit finishes off that enemy. No problem. The main problem with this weapon is clearly not the damage. The main problem, the main issue is that you simply are putting yourself at great risk. If you do not have your attack lined up, you're gonna be in some serious trouble. You can cancel your auto attack whenever you want to with a quick dash, you see me doing that a lot. But, I mean, even then, it's not a surefire bet that you are gonna be brought to safety. Ooh, good hits as we take double bunnies down. Push right through the door to finish off a skeleton. Pretty smooth movement today. I'm going to need this for the marathon run. That is for sure. Now, what I want to actually invest all of our money in, because everything we're doing at this point is pretty much gearing up for that. What I want to invest our money in is increasing our resolve as much as possible. Also, I said in an earlier video that we could not get to the snow biome. You guys let me know that there's a little passage here where if you want to, you can skip to the other side of the gate and just keep on moving. I don't know why you would want that. That used to be impassable, uh, but they made it so there's that little workaround there if we wanted it. So I'm not gonna buy this teleporter, I don't need it. I am gonna teleport myself back to the other side of the wall though. Now that we're over here, we can start the boss encounter. Now, of course, all of the bosses that we're fighting in the castle are the primed hard versions of the encounter, which could be a little problematic, but hey, that weapon's not looking too bad. If I can hover just above the boss, they're usually not really designed with protecting their head like this in mind. Second boss is in play. We're actually critting both of them. <laughs> oh my God, second phase on both of them. That means a lot of ad spawning. Oh, I actually got a hit on one of the ads there. First boss down. Oh, Seeker's coming in. We just cleave those at the same time. Second boss down. Now these guys do jump a lot. We should be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seekers are doing a thousand fucking damage. Every time an ad hits me, that's a thousand fucking damage. Let me try to get over here to some food. Uh, critical hit burn maybe? Nope. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, one of those guys was almost fucking dead. Dreams do come true. Oh, how the f <laughs> Okay. Oh, just across the top. Just across the top. We just have to cancel our dash every single time an enemy steps up. That's all we have to- Oh, shit! 
Now, lucky for me, I am actually siphoning quite a lot of health here. It looks pretty bad when we're taking that much damage. It feels pretty bad when we're taking that much damage. But we're actually cutting through them pretty well. Few ass taken down there back to back to back. And there we go, boys. Okay. Just let me get away from this guy a little bit. We're good to go as he lands. Get the clean kill. Back to full health too, look at that. Now normally this is where we would end our run for today, right? Job well done, our character killed a boss. We would retire, but no, we need to practice. So I will take that soul currency. Thank you very much. The second name gets put up on the wall. I think a reasonable goal for today would be three bosses, right? And by the way, when we do go for the full clear, you better believe we're gonna be streaming that live. We'll set a date for it. I don't know, is that too much of an event? It's kind of just the natural progression of the game. I'm afraid that if we make a big deal out of it and then I don't get the clear, that's gonna feel really bad. And then what do we do, hype up another date? That's not as exciting. One thing I am not going to do, you know what, fuck it. Let's hedge our bets. I would like to buy the, the gate opening, please. Thank you. All right, moving through, we already know there's a couple starfish sitting around. Wow, a couple is just the start, huh? We can sneak in a little damage on that one through the wall. Can we do the same thing here? You better believe we can. Hey, who said that automatically flying forward was always a detriment? It can have some benefits too. That flower just barely managing to stay alive. We had an ax thrower on the left side that got cut down to pieces very quickly. These uh, ice things aren't gonna do you too much good if I can just sit above you and attack. Same thing for the Lancers over here. Okay, we're actually slicing this down to size like it's nothing. You do have to play pretty drastically different with this weapon than most other things in the game. But if you can find the sweet spots, I mean, I think it, it shows for itself. It pays off really quickly. It got super sketchy versus those ads. If we didn't have the healing of the vampirism, I think we would have been absolutely screwed, to be honest with you. We're still looking at 100,000 gold for this run so far, and I know our runs could get a lot better than this as well. Uh, as we cut those guys down, we are gonna be recouping some health. It looks like I can take three hits before I die now with the increase on enemy level in this biome, because of course, this is the third area of the game, not the second area of the game. Uh, I don't think I said this already. I woke up pretty early today. We started recording pretty early. So if I did say it already, please forgive me. But I was looking at our challenges, right? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, and those are going to form quickly too, huh? Let's see if I can put this to sleep. Sure can. Okay, that makes this half the room a little bit easier. Fire off to the other side to melt the other snow cap. Perfect. So I was looking at the, um, the scar challenges, right? And there is another row above everything we can unlock. Like, we only have two more things to unlock. There are six boxes total that could be occupied. Maybe the devs are leaving themselves open for a little bit of DLC. This is all speculation. Even though I got myself in the credits amazingly in this game, uh, I don't know anything about its creation <laughs> or plans for the future. Ooh, get the swing. There we go. Per ah, was perfect until the poison came down and ruined everything. Well, so far we haven't found any of the lilies of the valley that we need to actually get the door open. This has been a rather vertical version of this biome as well. Oh, there you are, little bud. Didn't see you there, actually. <laughs> kind of blended in with the background, friend. Is this gonna be Seekers Through the Wall? No, it's not. It's blue flames. We can kite around that, no problem, and secure that kill. As long as that guy on the left doesn't send that explosion forward, which he died before he had the chance, this room clear is fine too. We're finding just, again, that sweet spot above enemies, that blind spot that most other characters cannot play around. We can just hover in their weak spot. 
Continuing to move to the right as we take down. Ow! As we take down a bat. Yo, you got. I guess I don't really need any health. <laughs> really, all of our healing problems can be solved by just finding more enemies. As long as we don't take too much damage in between. Starfish up top with some elite modifiers is sending out a lot of projectiles. This is actually going to be one of the harder enemies to take down. Because, like, how the fuck do you find the sweet spot? Ugh. It's. Oh, God. And there's another one next to it. This is it. Okay, I lost it. And you know what? I think I'm just going to leave that alone. I think I'm just going to leave that alone. That doesn't seem to be worth my time. Oh, I love how close you guys are standing to the wall. Thank you so much. Already feeling healthy again. I don't think this has ever happened before other than the initial story progression where I've found the boss room but haven't been able to open it. That is a very, very rare... Ow! Occurrence indeed! 600 HP back from that guy after he smashes into us. That's not going to cover my doctor bill. We do, however, find a new piece of armor inside of that chest. Oh, the silver chest here not giving us any new armor, though. I was expecting a big upgrade again. Okay. Back to the left, we have to find these lilies of the valley and they're running out of places to hide. That's encouraging at least. Good damage on the eyeball takes it down before it can cast. Zombie spawning underground. We do need to be mindful that he can definitely get a free hit on me. Same thing with these wolves. If we're just too close, that's gonna be bad. However, he can jump over the spikes, but at that angle, we would have been safe. We could have well, at least we got a little chicken. We could have uh, shot some fire over to the other side there and we would have been fine as well. Very long room here. Three exits as well. This one is a secret. I know. Whoop. Okay. All right. I didn't think I could get this yet for some reason. We shall see. We shall see. This was the bottom scar, I believe. No longer for honor, but for vengeance. You conquered the seas, Mehuel. It had no right to take you back. The Armada. Ooh. Okay, I'm very glad we discovered that. I wasn't expecting to find that there. Maybe we have to go to... I will definitely swap out this spell. At... Still better. Still better. I didn't mean to rotate it out. I would have liked the poison, but that's okay. Now we have guaranteed super crits when we make an enemy vulnerable to damage. Dude, we might actually shred this boss. Lily of the Valley is one of the keys we need to open the door. Will we find the other one? Uh, I hope so. This is such an erratic layout today. Uh, we should be able to double back to this room and maybe we'll get lucky. I believe there's normally three rooms that house the lily. Oh, God. Yo, that was some tight movement in there. I'm really scared of this volley coming down from above, but easy crits. We're good. We can make that guy vulnerable. Oh, God. Almost avoided everything. One stray meteor does connect. Uh, next attack kills me. Unless we do a lot of healing. Perfect. Another chest room here, but it's also connected to a path that continues. Looks like two enemies inside. The bouncing shield is actually probably the bigger threat, but we take him down no problem. Middle's going to fire next. As long as we rotate between the sides, we should be fine. This isn't a hard puzzle. Why am I struggling? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Everything's good, man. Everything's good, man, except we found a dead end, and it's a long way around. Hey, there we go. Finally. <laughs> I had to double back all the way to above the entrance. <laughs> really weird design here. I would say this has been one of the most successful scythe runs we've had in a while. And I think it's just mainly because we're taking so much health back from an enemy every time we kill it. Well, uh, I can just teleport back to the boss by returning to the main menu, jumping back into the castle. We'll be at the starting entrance. Let's open up the door. 
We're going to be healed up to full once we enter. Your offering is accepted. Of course it is. We know where to find the finest of the lilies of the valley. Uh, this boss may be a bit more difficult than the previous one because uh, Nama actually moves, you know, up and down. So I can't just pick a spot and stay there. We're going to have to constantly be adjusting for what the boss presents us. However, that being said, sweet spot at the top of the room, I can use my immunity frame. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. This is actually really bad. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, I was thinking I could use my immunity frame to uh, just keep recovering the same health. Like, take the damage. Oh, fuck. Uh, turn it off. Take the damage, but then just attack and heal through it. Big damage coming in from the no fighting zone on the right side. Oh, my God. This scroll is going to explode. This feels so chaotic today. Okay. Get underneath this. Good attack. Perfect. Disable this one more time. Easy bounces at the top of the screen. Couldn't even do that right. What's going on? Fireball coming down from above. Didn't see the scroll exploding. I need to attack to stay alive. Perfect. Actually, there's a really good spot there in the middle where I... Uh, 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 everything needs to be turned off again. Okay. Oh, almost trapped in the center there. Uh, that's, that scroll's exploding. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna shout. Barbarian shout. I completely forgot I had that, like, this whole run. So, maybe we use that fucking once. Oh my god, we were one fucking way! And this is why we need to practice. <laughs> Something about the scythes just, it just makes me panic. A lot, to be honest. Especially on hovering bosses. However, with this duelist, we're gonna be able to maintain a very healthy amount of health. I mean, that's exactly what you run, right? As long as I can get a few quick swings in. And of course, I can sneak those in. It doesn't matter where the boss is standing anymore. We'll be able to recover that health pretty quickly. Uh, we're almost at the... Phase two transition, there it is. I was hoping to get it before she cast anything. Looks like we got a partial spell cast there. I actually want to be off to the right immediately to turn that off, then we'll do the same thing there. Uh, I can just push some damage and use our class ability to roll through those resonators. Uh, we have to do this trip over to the right one more time. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward, hold on. Okay. Quick hits. Shit. Turn this off. Good. <laughs> okay, let's get these scrolls mad at me a little more often. It'll make staying in those side areas easier to do. Oh, there's no getting around that. Face tank that damage. Turn these off, dash through, easy damage here. We got it, we got it. That was our damage window we needed. Woo! Okay. Overestimated my confidence there. That was very, very challenging still. You know, the extra healing is nice, but the fact that you can only really live through three hits at a time, Puts a lot of pressure on you to always be offensive on this style of character. It was pretty fun getting two vampires back to back. The amount of times that has happened before, I could probably count on one hand. But hey, let's go see what that new scar is. The Armada. Relive the battle for control of the Stygian Ocean. Looks like this is... Oh. Bro. No longer for honor, but for vengeance. You conquered the seas, Mehuel. It had no right to take you back. This is the other side of the tree at the end, isn't it? Uh, skill crits increased by 20%. So that's good. They, I mean, they could be super crits. Uh, how do I leave this? Are each of these rocks a thing I can enter? 
Looks like it. Uh, dashing creates a wave that destroys mid-sized projectiles. We're level eight for this. I like the idea of being able to dash and leave behind poison. I'm a big fan of status effects. And we could do that relatively often. Uh, so there is an intro there. I imagine the one under the tree leads me into the battle. Wait, a better poison? Leaves it behind for two seconds. Actually, out of those two options, that one's definitely better. We could have re-rolled that one. I would have felt fine about re-rolling that, but let's see what we're actually going up against here. Oh, look at that background. Hey, how's it going, bud? Let's just dash next to him. Make sure we're leaving that poison there. That poison cloud also disrupting the seekers that this guy was spawning as well. So this seems very similar to the fight that we did earlier today. We're gonna phase out as he comes to land on us. Let's send the shooting star forward. It's gonna deal big damage to all of those guys. It is one of those spells that would hurt us as well though, if we're not careful. We'll stack those two up and try to get over them. I actually think the poison cloud is gonna be huge on this fight. Perfect. They're grouped up. We just leave behind a poison cloud. That kills the Seekers that are coming towards us. As they advance, we just keep dealing more damage and protect ourselves. Let's send out that spell one more time. I'm gonna hit an invisible wall soon, I think. We should be very aware of that, but we can dash back out this way. I'm feeling super composed here. Super prepared for this. But it does seem like more ads are still coming. These are some of the challenge mobs now being entered into the fight. I've never seen this guy outside of that one challenge area. Uh, that poison will hopefully... Oh, he has a lot of health. I was gonna say take him down pretty quickly, but that's not happening. We take 60 damage from a stray projectile. God, the ads are still here too. Hold on. Just cut through this guy while he's channeling. Sidestep, perfect. Last one's dead. Oh God, mass spawned above us. That's kind of sketchy. Masks are... Oh god, there's way more. Masks are probably my most feared enemy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, zoom into the other side. We have plenty of room. Let's send that explosive forward. That should do great damage to the masks. Hopefully. Uh, phase out. Phase it. <sighs> Assassinated by a mask. Okay. Okay. I felt like, oh, this is gonna be incredible here. The soul tether is gonna increase our AOE damage. So when the screen is that full of enemies, we should be fine. I felt like I managed the skeletons really well early on and then just got totally, oh, oh the boxing bell is gonna rack up damage like crazy on an assassin. Okay, we're super offensive this time and increased super crit chance. Once we get the boxing bell stacked up, we should be annihilating enemies. However, this time I'm going to have to stand my ground a lot more. We're not going to be able to kite back with the poison. We'll see how that changes our dynamic. Already seeing big damage come out. Once we get our combo up to 20. Oh, he just got out of range. If we get our combo up to 20. We're going to be looking pretty good. Perfect. Now everything we do is a crit. I'm going to get that heal early. Keep our combo going. Phase out. Yes, keep him fighting on this side. We already have the challenge guy spawning in. Really good damage on him too. Let that explosion go off, but keep the aggression on. Invisible wall, reset my combo! Hey, he died, that seems significant. That seems significant. They did like a phase transfer almost. Okay, good damage here as we push in. We have our combo, we need to keep it. Unfortunately, they were airborne a little bit too long. We can get that pretty back up to speed quite quickly. At least close to that 30. And we're actually killing masks without even seeing them, which is always a blessing. It might start to be a problem if they're teleporting around too much, but so far, so good. Oh God, like that. That's what we want to avoid. That is so scary. I need to make sure that I'm taking the time to stop attacking and make sure I rotate my character around. Button mashing is rarely the way to go, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. 
We lost our combo there, but we do spread a little more AOE damage around. I was surprised that, that that many enemies continued to flood out, but we killed off another on the... F oh my god, it's not over. Void Beast Angler. How do I know when you're gonna, gonna attack again? Oh god, I don't. Oh god. Okay, gotta phase that out. What the fuck? Is there still health on the other side? Okay, good, there is. Uh, this is gonna be super challenging. Oh, I got the Seekers though, we're good. Send it forward. Kite it out. Send it forward, kite it out. Uh, I don't have, an oh God. I don't have enough mana to cast again. Good AOE there. <laughs> I could just feel all the confidence I had previously gone. <laughs> it no longer exists. We might be able to do some good damage here, but I really need to stay away from the lantern on the far side. One more swing might do it. There we go. Felt really slow. Oh God, it's still going actually. I hope the timer on this is pretty lenient. <laughs> Two minutes, 42 seconds for that clear. The Armada has been taken down. That was so many enemies. That one was really challenging. We managed to get the A rating. Par was only 10 minutes, so time is not a factor on this one at all. You just have to clear it. That wasn't even enough for a bronze rating. This is one of the ones we have to come back on multiple characters and keep trying. But that's going to do it for today's video, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to be carving out the rest of this game in the very near future. Although, bro, with this breakthrough thing, being able to get more runes means we still have a lot of power we can grow. Something to keep in mind.